Lord, I pray for little Freddy. Take him into your arms, Lord. Do not punish him for my stupidity. And I ask too that you do not punish my sister Florence for she has done no wrong. <laughs> Have mercy on me, Lord. I ought to have seen that little Freddy didn't come to any harm. <laughs> sister Harriet home, a little way from that place. What place? The Tovey's place. The children live just a few doors down. We heard someone scream, someone saying, our Freddy is drowned. What did you do when you heard such screams? I told the children to go home and send for help. Miss Cool. No, no, go quickly now, both of you. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I went to that place. I heard the sisters screaming. There was an old tin bath that had collected the previous night's rainfall. I saw the child with his head just out of the water. Did you see moments before that the child was face down in the water? No. Why not? I would say that one of the sisters had already moved the child before I had got there. Did you try to revive the child? Mr. Dando. The children's father did. He resides just a few doors down from the Tovey's place. Mr. Dando, please. I arrived not seconds later than Jane. I too ran over as soon as I heard the screaming. I saw the lifeless child in the bath, head just above the water. Had the deceased child been moved? Yes. How can you be so sure that the child had been moved? Because Sorry, sir. Take your time, Mr. Dando. The amount of water that was in the bath was only enough to drown him had it been face down and not his head to the side, as I witnessed. Can I go? Alice, hurry. The facts are that the tin bath in question was in the garden outside of the house. It was left outside the previous night and had filled a few inches deep with rainwater. I asked the jury to consider how long it would have taken for the deceased child to drown. And as you ponder that question, I would like to ask the mother of the child some questions. Mrs. Florence Brown, please, if you would. I am Mrs. Florence Brown of Stone Close Frampton Cottle, wife of a carter and mother to Arthur Frederick William Brown. Freddie was in his ninth month. He could not yet walk, but could crawl and pull himself up. 
Please continue. On Monday afternoon, after tea and at around five o'clock, I left him in the garden to watch the rabbits. I was in the habit of doing so. My sisters and mother had done the same. I went outside to fetch Clarice, who was scrubbing potatoes at the time, and I asked her to watch Freddy at once. I had, I had to light the fire for the saucepan. Clarice said she would watch him right away. I, I was only so close. If I hadn't have left it. <laughs> Look at the rabbits, Freddy. Miss Clarice Tovey, sister of Mrs. Florence Brown, I think we need answers from you to explain a few inconsistencies, one might say. I'll be happy to answer any questions, sir. After your sister asked you to tend to the now deceased child, how much time passed before you entered the garden? Only moments. Would that mean minutes or seconds? Second, sir. Can you tell us how you found the deceased? Miss Toby, how did you find the deceased child? Well, can you not answer? Is the guilt eating at you? Miss Tovey. The foreman's question, Miss Tovey. How did you find the deceased child? I went out into the garden where I was told that Freddie was sitting watching the rabbits. I couldn't see him. It's only a small garden. But then, then I spotted his slippers in the, in the tin bath floating on top of the water. And did you instantly think that upon seeing the child's slippers that, that he might be under the water? Well, I, I couldn't see Freddy clearly in the water. It was only when I went in to retrieve the slippers that I felt his legs. And did you pull the child out of the water? I did not. Why not? I went in to grab the child and I caught hold of his dress. Why did you not pull the child out of the bath? He felt floppy. Again, I ask you, Miss Tovey, and I ask you in front of the jury and witnesses, why did you not pull the child from the water? Your sister had come into the house. She had left the child for a moment. So making your way straight to the garden, took less than a minute. It is fair to say that the child would have only have been under the water for mere seconds. So quick action was paramount on your part. I, I cannot hear you, Miss Toby. I knew the child would be dead. Why would you think the child was already dead? It's not my fault. It's not my stupid fault. I went into the garden at once as requested. But it was a warm day and I was very thirsty. So, on making my way to the back door, I spotted 
a bottle of ginger beer on the side of the table. Clarice, my darling, finish those in a moment. I need you to keep an eye on Freddy. Where is he? Watching the rabbits. He adores them. I'll go and watch him at once. Good. I need to light a fire for the saucepan. Auntie Clarice is coming, Freddy. is coming, Freddy. <laughs> we, the jury, would like to return a verdict to the effect that the child, Arthur Frederick William Brown, accidentally drowned by falling into a tin bath containing water. Florence, Florence, just give her a moment. I have to go. Give her some space. Is there anything you'd like to add, Mr. Foreman? Yes, indeed, there is. We do not consider there is any blame to be attached to anyone. When a child dies, it is a tragic affair to comprehend. Accidents do and always will continue to happen. Babies and children are indeed curious creatures and the mother made an awful mistake in believing that the young child might be safe for a moment alone. family since this sad singular death occurred we do not offer anything except compassion and our deepest condolences <laughs> <laughs>